Just a disclaimer, this video is not a how-to video, so if you're looking for that, there are plenty of other places on YouTube and the internet that will teach you how to do this. This is just my own um, documentation of the ear stretchings. So, hola, como estas? So, I'm... <laughs> This was supposed to be my second stretch from 12 to 10, but I forgot to record it, so oops. But here it is. This is my 10 on this side and 10 on this side. And this earlobe is a lot bigger than this one, but that's because like, something that I did when I was younger, and it's like bothering me that this one's so much bigger than this one, but I mean, what can you do, right? So now I'm just like, maybe I can like stretch this one, or like pull on it so then the earlobe gets bigger, but that's how it's gonna be. So that was just an update. So between um 12 and 10, I had waited nine days. I was gonna wait 10 days, but today is the 10th day. Um because I wanted to like color my hair, but then I decided I wouldn't. So yeah, so had I decided before I stretched my ear that I was not going to color my hair, I would have waited one more day. Not that that would have made any difference anyway, right? So that is my stretch from 12 to 10. You couldn't see it, but it happened. Greetings, currently. I am at an eight. Yes, I am at an eight. So here's this. And here is this. And I forgot to record it again. So the first time I forgot to record it, I legitimately forgot. And the second time it was because my parents were over and they were staying over for way longer than they usually do and weren't leaving so I just in the bathroom didn't record it but I mean it wasn't even that interesting because it took me about 15 minutes to do so I did have a mishap though so I wrote it down so I'm just going to recap it see my little vlog that I've been doing privately to document this entire thing. So on Thursday, February 12th, I went from a 0 to a 12. That was the previous video. So from the 12th, on the 21st, I don't know how many days later that is, but on the 21st, on Saturday, February 21st, I went from the 12th to the 10. Um, on February 27th, which was six days later, I had to take the 10 out of my right ear because like the ear was like really hurting and it was swollen and like there was pus coming out of it. So I took it out because it just wasn't going down and I put the 10 in so I had a, no, I put a 12 in. So I had a 10 in here and a 12 in here. On Monday, March 2nd, which was like one weekend later, I t the 12 had settled and it was fine, so I took the 12 out and I put the 10 back in. And nothing happened. I was expecting it to be like hard to stretch again, but it just went through. So there's that. On Wednesday, March 4th, which was two days later, which I didn't realize it was two days later. I guess I'm really bad at keeping time. I thought it was several days later, maybe like a week later, but it was in two days in reality, but in my mind it was like a week. I went from the 10 in both ears to the 8. And so right now I have the 8 in and I'm going to try to stay here for at least two weeks because I know that I'm just like pushing it way too fast, but honestly the smaller sizes don't have that much of like a size difference 
because the first real millimeter difference is the next size, which is my eight to a six, which like, I mean, I had made up my mind to wait at least a month, but you know, I know that once I get up to the six though, I'm definitely going to have to actually like step up the waiting game just because after, you know, like after the six millimeter sizes, it's actually like a larger increment. So there's no more of this like, oh, well, my ears feel fine and just shove the next size through. So that's definitely something that I'm going to have to stop doing. So um, yeah, so hopefully by maybe like the 20th or maybe April 1st or something um, would be ideal waiting time but knowing myself I'm probably gonna try it way before then even though that's stupid and shouldn't do it and I might get a blowout etc etc but I mean I mean yeah I would rather have cat butt than blowout but I don't want either and knowing myself I'm probably gonna get both so I should really really try to take my own advice and like wait it out so we'll see so until next time i will be recording eight to six so i'm gonna make the biggest effort to not forget so i just ugh yeah until next time see you later bye